And, and so some of the wealth habits that, that we see is the wealthy people, um, especially top one percenters, they're producers, right? And, and what I mean by that is they, they have businesses, they are great at sales, they're great at marketing, they're great at producing and creating income, right. and then doing smart things with that income after it's produced. And um, one of the things that we teach our clients and, and that I do personally is once a week sitting down for about 30 minutes and having a wealth meeting and looking at two things really. The first one is, you know, my income. So if I've got if I've got a passive income goal, that means that below that I have an investment goal that's producing that. And below that investment goal, I've got a savings goal that I've got to be able to put into an investment. And below that savings goal, I've got an income goal. I've got to earn this to, to save that, to invest this, to have my passive income. Okay. So if I really bring it all down, I've got to earn this much money today and this week and this month in order to save this much and invest it. And so I look at that every week. Every seven days I sit down and, and you can call it a pipeline if you want to, but I look at where's my income coming from. You know, if it's on the books, great. If it's not, who am I talking to? What opportunities are out there? What do I need to create if there aren't opportunities? And that's kind of the entrepreneurial side of it. And that happens first. The second thing I do is I look at my budget. Now, budgets exist. You can't budget your way to wealth. You can budget your way to homelessness. <laughs> Um, but it also doesn't mean you don't have one. Fortune 500 companies, they all do have a budget and, and they know their numbers. It's just a basic responsibility that we have. If we spend something, know what it was and know how much it costed, right? Right. And so what I'll do is I'll look at my budget and I just use mint.com. It's an app, right? I oh, can yeah. pull up yeah. my transactions. Um, I rate everything on a one to five scale, right? So um, ones are dumb expenses, Right. And if it's a dumb expense, it's like I didn't need it. There's no justifiable <laughs> reason. It was just an overall terrible idea. Sure. Um, and if something is a one, if I'm playing this game, the one gets returned and I get the refund and that refund goes into my sacred account. Mm. And so it's kind of like a positive negative reinforcement thing where, you know, it's embarrassing to get the refund on on the the brand new rims that I just bought from my car that I didn't need at all. And then, you know, the positive side is that money now will go towards building my wealth. Um, so that's a one. A two is something that's just bad timing. Okay. Right. I didn't need it now. It's different than a one, right? I want to I want to have a difference there in the behavior. Same thing, though. I'll refund it, get the money, put it in my sacred account. Um, threes are maybes. I'm married. So that means that I thought it was a one. My wife thought it was a five. We split the difference on that, and that's a three. And it's kind of a safe zone that we'll come back and revisit. Um, fours are needed for survival. And by survival, I mean like food, clothing, shelter, mm. transportation, um, you know, physical well-being, mental well-being, because um, it, it takes a lot to produce at the level we're talking about. And so I, sure. shouldn't, I shouldn't do beans and rice. I need to make sure I'm taking care of my, myself and, you know, being in that position. So I never return a four. And then fives are either income producing or tax deductible. Oh, okay. And so I want lots of fives. And when I get good at this, like, you know, people do this for 12 weeks, I can play the game of taking a one, two, a three, or a four and turning it into a five. Mm. And that's that's what wealthy people do. That's the top 1% is if you if you robbed them blind and dropped them in, in the middle of nowhere, that behavior, that creative mindset is what would get them back to the position they're in now. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprints of Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call, and we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.